Hi, welcome to the channel. In the previous video, we created a custom component image upload base 64 and I received a comment asking how do we actually use this component and how to directly send image to a vision model. So in this video, I'll show you how to use this component and ingest this encoded data into a vector store and how to directly send image to a vision model. One thing, why do we even need V64 encoding for images? So, you know, most vector store are designed to store text embedding. They don't directly handle raw images. So, if we want to store images for later retrieval, we have two common approach. First, convert images to V64 and store them as text. And second one, use OCR technique to extract data from images and store that text. So, for this video, we are focusing on the V64 approach. And let me know if you need second one, mean OCR technique. So, one important limitation of V64. So, when we are converting a image into a V64, it's increased the size by around 30% compared to the original. And many vector database impose size limitation. And one more thing, so when you storing the data into vector store, V64 encoding is not useful for semantic search. Let's start it where we left. So we created this component and when we run, it's convert our image into a V64. Okay. This is our output. This is base 64 output encoded. Now, let's ingest this data into our vector store. For this, I using Elasticsearch vector store. You can give your Elasticsearch URL or cloud ID. So, I give my cloud ID, okay, and index name. After that, username. Okay, and password of your elastic search for checking the connection stabilization. Just click run. Now we see our connection is stabilized. Now let's connect our data. Let's run. Here we see the search document vector store input must be data object. One more thing I say you. Here. This is our index data database and our index name is Langflow. Here you, here you can see our document is still zero. Okay. So we got an error. So for this we use a component data to message now let's connect with this okay let's run okay it's, it still gives an error the error building component data to message text so here we need a field name so there here is a field name is text but our field name is value so change text into value so just run and wait here you can see document count increasing and elastic search wait successfully you can also see here your document it's showing okay now let's change it Check with another one. Okay, I give another screenshot and one 
once just refresh it it will show you now to document insert it okay that's how we can insert our data into our vector store so now we using how we can insert our image directly into a base 60 uh, into a vision model okay for this we, we changes something like uh, from lang flow dot schema dot message or LLM need input type message so that's why we use message and one more output one is for base 64 and one is for vision model okay so change display name okay image upload which one you want this is just a demo purpose image upload okay and uh, method name I choose image message okay now write a function image message self it's return to a message data type okay. if not self dot image path okay return image not uploaded first what we need we need a image name so for an image name so self dot resolve path and self dot image path with name it's return image name so return image name uploaded successfully okay now let's uh, check and save here we can see there are two output one is for base 64 one is for image upload now see okay now connect this into our vision model so for vision model I choose a hugging face and click so let's check ln AI so one more thing first open component hugging face here we need an API token hugging face API token you just create your hugging, hugging face API token here so I choose ln AI so in this model AI there is no ln AI so I choose custom okay now give model name so model name is ln AI copy and paste okay just connect is your system message not an input now let's run and check it's showing the Im image upload successfully but not giving any output so for this 
give a prompt and connect your prompt to your input and give describe okay the image is simple prompt okay describe the image okay just check and click and now let's run Let's run successfully. Just check the message. Here we can see here the message image load successfully and the image appears to be flowchart of diagram representing a support supervised machine learning algorithm. Here is a description of the key elements. So it's not a good output. But this is just for a demo purpose how you can use your image for a vision model. You can directly send your vision model. You can change another one. Okay, so I choose uh, this one. Now I cho let's choose another one. Like, uh, okay, machine learning regression. Just run. and check the output so here so uh, the image is screenshot of a Jupyter notebook with Python code for a for a machine learning regression concept so that's how you can send a image into your vision model that's all for this video if you enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe comment and share to support the channel see you in the next one thank you for watching